according to one timeline. Suzanne Hudson died in the year 2055 because of premature aging due to genetic defects she was born with. And in another timeline, she died in the year 2035 due to infection from a deadly virus. Both timelines suck. But clearly one is better than the other, so... Suzanne, thank you so much for washing the dishes. That was a pleasant surprise. You work your butt off as a nurse? So it's only fair that I and Tommy help out with the household chores. You deserve to be pampered, especially after recovering from that horrible accident that nearly killed you. You are such a blessing. I can't imagine life without you. Ah. Uh. Huh? What's that strange noise? Huh? Where am I? And who are you? You may not recognize me, but I am Diana Hudson. I was once the baby you found abandoned at the hospital and then you persuaded your family to adopt me. You gave me a life with a beautiful family and all these years I wanted to give something back to you. And now I will. What do you mean? As you know, you were born with a genetic defect that affects your connective tissues. It is already causing your vision to decline and eventually, the rest of your body will start to break down, causing you to have a much shorter lifespan than normal. Yeah, and I know how I got the defect too. Like you, I was adopted into the Hudson family. My birth mother conceived me after she was raped by her own brother, who she later killed while she was still pregnant with me. Because of that, I felt guilty for even existing. I even felt like killing myself. Well, your life still has meaning, Aunt Suzanne. Your parents, your brothers, I, and so many others love you and would feel so much less without you. That's why I want to help you now. I sometimes think I must be my own worst critic. I am never satisfied with myself. My singing is not enough. I try to play guitar, but I can't measure up to Matthew's standard. My drumming is not as good as Tommy's. My keyboard work is not at mother's level either. Have I ever criticized you for your keyboard work? We all have our musical strengths and weaknesses. I just know when you sing, Suzanne, none of us comes close to your vocal powers. Your father may be the brains of this band, but you are its heart. Without you as lead singer, we have no band. Suzanne, I can't do anything about your genetic defect. But I can do something about a virus that will infect you when you are aged 28 and kill you in a few months. That virus was a mutated strain of COVID-19 and you had no immunity to it. You were also vulnerable to it because of your pre-existing defects. Oh, this is my husband, Richard. Hello, Suzanne. Anyway, to continue Diana's story. She and I work as scientists, following in the footsteps of her grandfather Daniel Hudson. We built the spacecraft with time travel abilities and have already used it several times. We also exhumed your remains and took tissue samples from your bones. We found the virus that killed you and then created a vaccine for it so that you won't die at age 28. Instead you will live much longer and therefore you will be a much greater positive influence on people. Will you accept the vaccine? Sure. I want to live as long as I possibly can. And thank you in advance for this. Okay. Just close your eyes and Diana will inject you with the vaccine. Sure. I'm ready. Ouch, that was quick. Don't waste this opportunity, Aunt Suzanne. We already saw what an incredible difference Sandy Smith made after Debbie and I saved her life. Now you can do the same. I promise, I will do all that I can to make things better for everyone around me. Including you. I love you. Wow! What an incredible thing to experience! Now I know just how deeply loved I am. I just need to keep my promise and do as much good as I can. The world needs me.
Look at those two. It really seems like they were made for each other. Mrs. Smith, I need to ask you about something. Did you have an encounter some years ago with someone from your own future? Like a friend or relative? Yes, I have. In 2021, I was teleported to a spaceship where I met this young woman named Diana. And then an older woman. That I recognized as Debbie, my own daughter. She told me I would come down with multiple sclerosis that would drive me to suicide and she wanted to save me from it. So she and Diana gave me a vaccine to protect me from it. And then I went on to become mayor of this town. I overthrew the corruption and bigotry that dominated it before. I made a difference by living on and not giving up on my life. Amazing. Well, I had a similar experience just before my 16th birthday. I was teleported to a spaceship that was crewed by adult versions of Diana and Richard, and Diana let slip that Richard was her husband and that she and Debbie had saved you earlier. So you brought Diana here to make sure she and Richard would fall in love, eh? Clever. Diana and Richard warned me that at age 28 I would get a virus that would quickly kill me, but they wanted me to live much longer so I could make a difference in the world. So they gave me a vaccine to keep me from dying too soon. The question is, what am I supposed to do to make a difference? How would my being saved to live longer be justified, given that so many other people have died even younger than me that could also have made a positive difference? I'm sure you will figure that out soon enough. For now, keep being an inspiration to that incredible niece of yours. The world clearly needs more amazing role models like you. To make a difference in this life, you must first be different. Conformity never does anything to help make things better. Note, future episodes in this series will represent the change caused by Suzanne's continued life by a at in their timestamps.